<laughs> Gary Barlow spent the early 90s fronting one of Britain's most successful boy bands. We'll be talking to him in just a moment. First, though, we have to have a trip down memory lane. Gary Barlow entered the world on January the 20th, 1971, and from an early age had developed a love of music. At 13, he was performing in local clubs, and by 15, he'd written his first song. Noting his early promise, manager Nigel Martin-Smith formed a five-piece band around Gary's songwriting ability. The result was Take That. Between 1992 and 1996, the band sold 10 million albums worldwide and notched up an incredible eight UK number ones. But it was the release of Back For Good in 1995 that firmly established Gary as one of the most successful songwriters of the decade. The song earned the band their first US top 10 entry, but it was to be their last featuring Robbie Williams. Take That split in 1996, with Gary initially forging a solo career with two number ones and a chart-topping album. But a period away from the limelight followed, writing hits for the likes of Blue and Charlotte Church. Now, ten years on, Take That have made one of Pop's great comebacks, a sellout reunion tour and a new album in the pipeline. Oh, what a lovely build Isn't that good? I love that. It's really lovely to see you, and I really enjoyed your book. It's called My Take by Gary Barlow. One thing I did notice about it, though, reading it, um, wasn't much fun, a lot of it, wasn't it? We thought you were all having a ball. No, do you know what? And a lot of it... Mm. Do you know what? It may seem like that. There right. was a lot of fun sure. going on. Um, but I'm guessing, because I've been writing that book really over the last five years, mm. that it ended so badly that I think a lot. I think that cancelled out a lot of the fun for me because we had a lot of fun. I yeah, must I'm, say. I'm sure. I'm sure you did. But but tough times. And you're very honest in here. And you're very honest about yourself. You know, because you say sometimes you could have been nicer. You could have shared more with the band. And mm -hmm. that that takes a lot. It takes a lot of courage to actually admit that. Well, I think if you're going to write a book, you've got to be really honest. Yeah. Otherwise, why bother? Yeah, exactly. And you mentioned the split, and after the split, the pressure on you was intense, wasn't it? Because everybody built you up hugely, and nobody could have, you know, th that expectation, nobody could have lived up to that. It's like, he's going to be the next huge thing, you know, the next George Michael, the next Elton John, and all of that. And did you feel that pressure? You must have. I think we all felt pressure yeah. after the ban because, the, I mean, Take That was so big Huge. <laughs> that you had to do something extraordinary yeah. next to, to, be, to be even bigger. And uh, we couldn't have all had an enormous career. It was going to go to one of us. And, um, you know, obviously Rob run away with it all, so... Mm. Um, that's have you the buried the hatchet now? Have you kind of sorted it now? Because there, yes. there was bitterness, clearly there was, and there was mm -hmm. a lot of bitching went on, more on his side, it has to be said, because um, some of the comments he made were not very pleasant. But have you managed to get over that now? Do you know what? We met him, actually, while we were on tour earlier this right. year. Um, we were playing London, and he lived right by the hotel we were staying in. We had a lovely evening with him, and it was, it was very nice to and see And were you him able again. to sort of remember the good times and sort of get over all of that yeah, yeah we were we, we 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 did so much reminiscing that night it was so nice because like you say you do you do you do forget the good times and mm. we had lots of them with him as well oh for sure and absolutely. um and we were we were reminiscing big time that night. i mean you know you think of the age you were going around the world having mm -hmm. just having a, an amazing amazing time yeah. extraordinary times it re really was i think though what saved you i don't know if we can have a wee, a wee look at this but this is um, this is your lovely wife it's and your <laughs> two babies and they are gorgeous Thank absolutely you. gorgeous that was the saving of you wasn't it because you were in a bad way you were in yeah. a bad way I think everyone, everyone I meet says, you know, th thank goodness you met your wife. Mm. All the boys say it as well, you know. One thing great you got at the end of it all was, a, a, you know, a great person to mm. help you and be behind you. Know, obviously, we've got two gorgeous children as well. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? At the end yeah. of the day, I mean, it, all of this is jam. That's right. <laughs> you know, I know. It really is. I know. The rest of it is it's great. But if you've got that, if you've got a solid relationship and yeah. you've got a couple of kids... Yeah. That's just what that is what life is all and about. And I think one of the great things for me was that, you know, that obviously I've had this break now for a few years mm. of not being hectic and being everywhere. And it's meant that I've really liked seeing them talk for the first time and walk. I've really seen You've not those. missed that. Yeah, and a lot mm. of my friends who work like crazy always say, oh, I miss that bit. And, and I, I haven't. I've seen it all, so yeah. I feel very fortunate. Which is fantastic. And now... It's just going so well. Did you expect this to happen? Did you expect the, the whole kind of reunion to be as huge? Everyone says to us, oh, we, we could see this coming, and, yeah. and none of us could see no. it coming at all. Honestly, right. couldn't. And what's going to happen? I mean, there's going to be more tours. Is it going to be, are you going to really singles? What's going to what's Well, going we to did happen? our big tour yeah, earlier you know. this year. 
and um, and we've been basically recording all over the summer. Fantastic. Really excellent. It's like I mean for us, it's like starting from scratch. That's great. It's so lots of new material that we're going to Lots of new material. Well. Uh, we're very excited about it all. Oh, that's great. Is it better this time round than it was? Like when you stepped out on the stage and, and, and you see people going bananas, and it's, you know, it is from two year olds to 82 year olds, mm -hmm. and they're going crazy, um, is it even better than it was, you know, sort of 10, 12 oh, years it's ago? It's so much better this is time. It really? Why is that? It's just brilliant. <laughs> Having an absolute ball. I mean, Good. I've been doing some signings around the country this week. Everyone comes and says, we had a brilliant time and it looked like you were having a great time too. Is yeah. it true? I said, listen, we had the best time every night. We Excellent. did. Excellent. Oh, that's really good. And so hopefully we can look for, a, for maybe a new single at Christmas. Do you think that might happen? I think so, yeah. 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 That'd be yeah. great. Yeah. God, it's really, Looking forward you know, to it's, it. It's so good that it has all worked out for you because... Um, it was tough, you know, and it could have you could have gone either way at one point. I think for you, you know, it was it was bad. Yeah. But you managed to get over it. You really did. Good luck with my take. Thank you. My take, I like that. <laughs> and, <laughs> and good luck with the with the single when it comes out. And we hope that you'll come back because you guys are fantastic in concert. Absolutely brilliant. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much indeed. Loads more about Gary's story together with an awful lot of take that goodies available on our website.